everyone welcome back to creatively crafted life this is Melanie and today I have yes surprise surprise more page kits or paper kits I've got a stack here now what's a little bit different about these is that these are a little more random I didn't start with a paper pad uh, but they are in here there are some collections that I just it didn't make sense to have them separated as collections they're just for too few pages or papers so I thought why not just combine them into page kits and store them all in one spot so I'm gonna quickly flip through these if I know the names of the uh, papers I will let you know because maybe you have them in your stash if I don't know the name I apologize I'm sorry my collection is over 25 years old and well I don't think there's any papers in here that are 25 years old I think there are some that are really old uh, like for instance this first one here is 2004 so yeah let me put these aside and we'll walk through them quickly so the first kit that I put together is actually just two scraps they are both from uh, Maggie Holmes carousel and they're left over from another layout that I had done but I really liked how they went together so I could see me doing something like this and just picking a, a colored cardstock as a backer and going from there so that is the first kit you already got a sneak peek on the second one yes this is the paper that is from 2004 and this is from doodlebug designs now this is it's very thin right like this is not cardstock this is paper back in the day this was pretty standard or par for the course but I still like the pattern and purple is hard to find so that doesn't go out of my stash too quickly which is also another reason why I kept this piece here well number one I just love the floral I think it's just really pretty this is rainbow sherbet designed by Kimberly Hutchison this was from the hip kit club I could use either for this but I really picked or really kept it because of the floral and then to finish off the kit I threw in this aqua diamond shape pattern you can see that and I have a feeling this is stamping up yes it is that is kit number two this next kit is actually all from the same collection it is from fancy pants designs 2016 goodfellows and I really 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 love this I don't know why I haven't used it today probably because I forgot that I had it so there is honeycomb treasure I should show you both sides big fella the big polka dots and a grid on the other side this one has like a broken heart I guess and then a plaid which is called good guy and then the last one that I have is called so strong it has these cut aparts with a bit of a father's theme in here and it's got a grid on the other side now I do have a few stories that I want to tell about my dad so this might be a um, perfect kit to use for that very usable patterns so it would be very easy to get a few layouts out of this particular kit this next kit is also uh, from the same collection it is a SEI I don't even think they're still around and I believe this was from 2004 and it's Chickadoo it's got a very aqua and turquoise kind of theme to it so the front sides and then more solids on the back and a white version of this uh, this is called Chickadoo the dots is called Hiccup this is called Rooster Row and this one is called Pee Wee's Kiwis. Okay, so for this kit, it is a primarily a Bella Boulevard kit. Uh, it says Family Frenzy, and I believe it was called Here We Grow. And there are a number of different pages that I have from that particular collection. There's this one, which is the floral. Then I have the cut apart. The back side of the floral is a stripe. I have the cut apart with words that say selfie on them. Here's that green stripe again because it's the back side of the floral. And then there is another cut apart with different motifs and then a stripe on the back side. So all very usable. I threw in this illustrated Faith. She blooms for the yellow, the back side, 
has this red and pink which also works but primarily I picked it for the yellow and then I just thought it would be kind of fun to throw something a little bit different in and I have this clear cuts acetate sheet also from Bella Boulevard it is called Chevy's blueberry and I thought that just might be kind of fun and I don't know if I would do something like that sorry for the glare layer it on a colored piece and then play off of this or if I would use this in some sort of layering or matting for photos no idea but I thought it would be fun to throw it in there okay this next paper kit actually does have quite a few scraps and again I think these are all most all from the same kit but not quite this is the inspiration sheet it's a beautiful life from Echo Park I threw in this red also from Echo Park this turquoise blue from Capture Life and then this yellow dot from A Beautiful Life. So these three are from the same collection and then this blue I thought just was kind of fun. And while this blue is not a perfect match in here, I think it does still kind of go. Doesn't always have to be matchy matchy. Continuing along those lines of A Beautiful Life, I have three more cardstocks. Um, this one here is called bouquets it's got the flowers on the one side and the music print on this and then this one is called doilies it's got a stripe and then the doilies on the other side so I consider these dual purpose not only do I like the pattern on both but these can be fussy cut out as can the doilies so you've got embellishments all built into one and then I threw in this one which is called tickets and these I would also use as embellishments more than likely either as a border or cut out individual pieces and you can see I've already used this one before. This next page kit is a Felicity Jane kit and I could have thrown this in with my Felicity Jane collection but it feels just a little bit different to me. I think this was one of the earlier kits maybe 2016. It's got a little bit of a different feel than some of the more current stuff, so I thought I would keep it separate. It was a kit, so all I did was just take it out of its packaging and I'm just going to store it with my page kits just to be um, consistent. So I do have this cut apart, half cut apart sheet. It doesn't look like they have any names at this point, but there is this black and white floral. The other side is a coral stripe. There's a coral or a darker coral dot with a black plaid and then there is this green stripe with a black and white heart and then this is a black and white dot with some texture almost like a, a knit print and then a wood grain followed by a turquoise stripe not stripe a turquoise wiggle a turquoise wave and then a very uh, ready coral red I guess if you want to call it diagonal stripe and then uh, there is one piece that ties all the colors together which is this multi-colored stripe on this side there are cut aparts that is felicity jean oh dear for this next kit i went monochromatic and i have a heidi swap pineapple crush aloha with the what is this called Fran frangipani or something like that i think on the back side is this geometric black on black I paired that with this stripe which is from the same collection called Palm Beach but I picked it for the stripe and then the last one I have in here is also from Pineapple Crush it's called Tide Pool and again I picked it for the black and white um, side and I thought this would be really fun if I had a really vibrant uh, picture I thought that might be kind of cool or I could really play off the black and white and print a photo in black and white so we'll see who knows what will inspire me the next collection is all illustrated faith she blooms I believe so this was the inspiration this colored floral I have the pink with the words the black and white dot and then the cut apart and if we flip the other sides over I've got more of a ready dot vases with flowers and then this pink so to be honest what draws me most to this would probably be these and maybe some of the cut aparts or I could throw this in as a matting piece also from illustrated faith she blooms 
I have this floral, which is called She Blooms. I threw in the sticker sheet with this one, as well as the collection page up the top. It has the turquoise with the stripes. And then this one here is another cut apart, just called three by fours. But really, I picked it for that combination. Move this over. I really love this piece of paper from Kaiser Craft. It's from the Happy Snaps collection called Click Click. It's just kind of a really whimsical kind of pattern, which I think is fun and a little bit different. I paired that with Simple Stories Do It Yourself Boutique in the um, herringbone orange. Now, this is those things to your eyes if you stare at it too long. Um, it, it's not a white base. It is a uh, off-white and a black, but I'm okay with that because chances are I'm only going to use this in a very tiny amount and I would probably have something between this and this, I'm guessing, but you never know. The other side is this orange, which really doesn't go at all. And then I paired it with this other sheet from Kaiser Craft Happy Snaps collection, so it's the same collection. It has these strips, which is kind of fun, but I really picked it for the pink side. So that would be that page again. Okay, so this is my jumping off point for this one. This is from Simple Stories Do It Yourself or DIY Boutique. Um, I totally picked it for the floral. I threw in this black and off-white polka dot. Um, this is from the same collection. It's called Boutique Polka Red. The other side has this red side, which totally would work. So this is a twofer. And then I threw in this Kaiser Craft Happy Snaps collection. I picked it for the green geometric. And I also threw in that same pink one again from Kaiser Craft. Uh, you probably could use some of these on here, like especially things like this chevron or this one as well. But I really did pick it for the pink color. Here's another page from the Do It Yourself Boutique. This is called Lovely and my multicolored floral. You can sense a trend, I'm sure. The other side of this has the sequin mix. I paired it with this yellow, which is also from Simple Stories DIY. There is a black, uh, looks like a dictionary page on here, which would work, but it's very, very black. So definitely I like bright and cheerful so I have the yellow side selected. And then yet another one from the Happy Snaps collection from Kaiser Craft. This is with the orange uh, dot. The back side of this is more of a printed background page which I struggle to use. So definitely pick this for the orange. This next collection I believe are all from the same collection and it's from a Paige Evans one. I don't remember which one this was exactly. Take me away maybe? Don't quote me on that. Um, I picked this one for a background because I thought that would play really well with the floral. Obviously I've used the floral before and I've die cut out parts of it which is probably what I would do again which is why I paired it with this black floral. So I'm picturing this as a backdrop, this as a layering piece, and then this as embellishments. Another page kit put together out of scraps. Um, this is also a Paige Evans from 2016, so I believe it's the same collection. I chose it for the grid, again thinking this would be a good background. I have this multicolored floral. This is from Turn the Page. I paired that with this yellow, which is also from 2016, but it's not turned the page. And then also this number 18 from Page, but for the aqua. So that is what, let's do it this way. That is what I'm envisioning. Here's another Felicity Jean early kit that I've broken down. It's from 2016. It is called Emmeline. It has those cut aparts with the floral. Felicity Jane does fantastic florals. I almost never keep these as is. I almost always trim these out. That just seems to be the thing I'm doing. Um, it came with this yellow with the plus sign, which I absolutely love. And then there is this gray, and on this side is a multicolor, which I could use either or, but I really do like it with the gray. And then there was also a wood grain 
which I thought would make a great background, but if I change my mind, this uh, coral would work just as well. Of course it all works. It's the same collection. For this next page kit, we are going deeper into the vaults, not quite as far as 2004, but we are going all the way back to 2010. I remember buying this paper. I was in Canada at the time, and that particular year I was doing a lot of traveling for work. And every time I traveled, I always tried to hit up a scrapbook store. And they had this My Mind's Eye from the Lush Collection, and it's called Hip and Luxurious Basics. And I have three different card stocks here, and they're all similar color. And I kept them together because I thought it would be fun to do a monochromatic layout. Now, this cardstock here, you won't be able to tell, but this is flocked. Like, it's fuzzy. It's soft. I don't know how I would use this offhand. What I am envisioning is more that this would be a left-hand side, and I'd probably put a title and maybe some journaling up here. And then I would use something like this on this side to include my photo. That's my thoughts. I still love the paper. I think it's really pretty and uh, that's why it's still in my stash. The other side of this cardstock is the polka dot on white and then this has got a herringbone design and because it's a specialty there's actually nothing on it. It's just single sided. I paid $1.49 Canadian for this sheet of paper back in 2010 so I must have really loved it. Okay also from 2010 is Peachy Keen Baby Doll Collection from American Crafts. I have five sheets from this collection and I've kept them all together because I think they all work really well and I can see myself using them together. I have two florals, a larger floral and a smaller floral. There is a gingham and a plaid and then a dot. And if we flip this over, I've got more of a solid, a stripe, a large dot, a tone on tone dot and a diagonal almost a diagonal stripe but it's tone on tone so I've got lots of options here this would easily be two to three layouts I would think this next kit is only two and that's because this page here is very elaborate it's from SEI so you know it's going to be older it was from a paper pad I don't remember the name it's single-sided I paired it with this pink geometric from Dream Street Papers LLC. I found this interesting. It says printed with soy based ink. Hmm. It's got copyright 1996 on here. I wonder if this is the oldest piece of paper in my collection because I started scrapbooking in 1992. So I envision using this as the main page. I probably would take a smaller photo, use this as matting, or I could use this as a frame all the way around it and use some other cardstock to mat and then maybe a title or something down here. My initial thoughts, who knows where it'll end up. Another two page kit, this one is from 2011. I remember purchasing this one as well because it was also on a business trip. That's how I uh, made them tolerable. Um, it's actually the same two sheets of paper. I really just loved this poppy on here. I'm not usually a big distress background kind of person. I do have some in my collection because of course I will use it, but it's not my my first natural instinct to gravitate towards. But I just thought this was such a pretty design. It is from Glitz It Now or Glitz Design. And like I said, it was from 2011. Called Fabulous Front with Coordinating Back love games poppies so the next few page kits are from this paper collection from stampin up it's called birthday bouquet and i did split the kit up into page kits because i think i'm more likely to use it than keeping it together because i've had this for who knows how long and i've never touched it so the first three papers that i combined are this floral this funky scallop and then this dark olive green um, dot. I think that's kind of fun. They are double sided so they do have other prints but I primarily picked them for the front covers that are the front sheets that I'm showing you. This next kit features this aqua colored floral which I combined with this multicolored polka dot and then that same um, olive large dot. So normally I don't put two dots 
in the same page kit. It's just a thing that I do. But in this case, these are random dots. They're not like linear like this one. And the scale is so much smaller that I think I can get away with it. And that's what the back side looks like. It has some balloons, another dot, and then that scallop stripe. I must have really liked that multicolored dot because I paired it with the same piece of floral paper, but I added the stripe this time. You can see how the kit changes quite a bit just by changing the tone and the pattern. And on this side, I've got the floral. And then the last three pages I combined are this ice cream with the wonky scallop and then this more linear scallop. And the back side is the same ice cream paper, a confetti, and then the, uh, that green again. The next set are also another Stampin' Up! collection. This is called Painted Blooms. And I did the exact same thing. So I have this large floral, which is absolutely beautiful. I paired it with this purpley pink dot and then this watercolored background. Flip this over. We've got painted blooms and a multicolored. Now, to be honest, I don't know that I would cut this apart too quickly unless I cut it like part way down and then used half as a decorative border. Again, what I probably would end up doing is something like have a photo or something down here and then journal up here or I could see me using this other side here to do most of the documenting of the photos and then maybe just a title or something here and then some journaling or flip it around. These are tough, tough to use. Sometimes I just use these for fillers and by that I mean I use them to fill in empty spots in an album if you know the layouts don't quite work out how I would like them to. Okay for this page kit I started with the floral. There is a teeny tiny little bit of yellow in there which is why I pulled this yellow stripe and then just to kind of tie it in a little bit more I threw in this polka dot. Now this these two colors here are very white based. I would have liked something a little more solid but it is what it is. The back side I've got the green floral and then that same print I just showed you before as well as that pinky purple dot. But really this is how I combined it. For this kit I started with this multicolor floral. I paired it with the green stripe. Always, to me this is always an easy combination, a floral with a stripe. And then I threw in this small floral. I think I can get away with it again because this reads more solid, although it, there is quite a bit of white. Again, if this was even more purple, I would be even more happy with it, but I think it's to make that work. And then the back side, I've got basically solids and then this tulip. So if I didn't like this purple, I could flip this over and use the yellow. Or maybe I'll use both. That's the beauty of double-sided paper. And the last kit from this collection is the tulip page, which I combined with the leaves and the yellow background, which I could flip over and use the purple and the stripe. Okay, this next page kit is from Now and Then by Jen Allison. I think this is in my mind's eye. I started with this very large multicolored floral. I threw in these frames. Not that I would use this as is. I would more than likely cut the frames out and use them as embellishments. The back side is a multicolored stripe which is very usable but to be honest I put in this stripe just to kind of tone things down a little bit. The back side of this is hearts and this one is a chevron. So really I'm thinking these would be the two main pages or the two main layers and then these would be embellishments. Continuing with my mind's eye now and then I have a little bit of a scrap kit. I have this small floral which I paired with this diagonal and this polka dot. And the back side has florals which I've obviously started to trim out which I could use. This side here has these kind of um, library cards which I also could trim out and of course the floral is the floral. <laughs> so I think I could do a few different things with this one. I would probably need one more 
um, cardstock in here. I'm thinking maybe something like a dark navy blue, um, just to kind of use as a base page and then layer it up with the scraps and this floral. Okay, also from now and then by my mind's eye, that same floral, only this is a full sheet. I have a lighter polka dot and the chevron. And then the back sides, there's that polka dot, here's a stripe in that gold, and then that pink dot. So you'll notice that a bunch of these are all from the same collection. And basically I am splitting these up because I think I am more likely to use them than have them the way they have been situated in my craft room. That's why I am doing this. Again, now and then, my mind's eye, I've got this multicolored floral, which I paired with this pink diagonal, and as well as this dark pink um, geometric. And then the back side is a stripe and a geometric, and this one is also another stripe. More mind's eye. This time it's a smaller multicolored dot with that same pink geometric and the diagonal stripe in the turquoise color. And for the last My Mind's Eye now and then, I have this multicolored floral, which I paired with this um, diagonal stripe in quadrants. I don't know how to describe it. I think that would make a really great border around a layout. And then I threw in this, I don't know if you could see it. It looks like writing paper. I thought that would make a good base layer. So if we're thinking, you know, something along this lines here, and then throw this in as a matting layer. And just to switch things up a little bit, I am also throwing in this chipboard elements sheet. Now, normally I don't like to keep embellishments in here unless I have very specific ideas for it. In this case, I have quite a few of these florals which go really well with this piece of paper. So to me, it makes sense to store these together because I'm more than likely going to use these florals with this paper. And once this kit is done, then whatever is left over will end up going into my stash. And the final page kit that I have is a Heidi Swap. Is from Heidi Swap. I have from Emerson Lane. I have this floral stripe floral uh, page that was called semi sweet the other side has this green stripe I believe this is from the same collection but it's a partial sheet but it looks like the same colors I picked it for the yellow and then on this side I have this jumbo floral pretty please and then I have this multicolored stripe now I'm not sure what I would use I could see me doing something along this lines where I have just a tiny piece of this jumbo floral predominantly use this piece of yellow and then maybe have this stripe going across in some manner or even like like this I don't really envision me doing this layer on top of this layer it would definitely need to be separated I just think that's a little too busy and I mean I can do busy but for me that's just a little too busy I could also use this other side, but I'm thinking, why not challenge yourself to use this jumbo floral? So we'll see. And that, my friends, is the end of my page kits, hopefully for a little while. I think it's time that I get started on using them, right? If you've jumped on the wagon for making page kits, I'd love to hear about it below. And let me know what you think about it. Are you enjoying it or is it just not for you? That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, happy crafting.